Okay. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the uh, Blackboard Learn homepages or uh, the homepages or module pages. Um, it, more precisely, I'm going to be talking about making a module page and using it as your home page or the course entry page. Um, by default, the first so by default, when you are when you when a new course is created, uh, the the course entry page is the announcements page, um, which you may find that you want to you may find that you want a little more um, uh, a little more flexibility, a little you know a, it might not be the best thing you want for your course just to have announcements. So, how do we go about changing that? Well, we go into the uh, Blackboard panel and go down to customization. And you'll see there is a uh, link called teaching style. Um, teaching style has, a, for, for newcomers to Blackboard, teaching style has a few, um, ha has a few customization things. And I'll go over what's in, uh, what's in there in addition to uh, working with the module page. Um, the first thing you see when you go to the teaching style is uh, select course structure. Uh, by default, there is, we, we have a default course structure. However, you can change your course structure in, um, in several different ways, and it will preview it. Um, you can uh, focus. Uh, you, for different types of activity, for example, if it's a lab class, um, uh, or a, a small uh, a small seminar and or if it's a more traditional class, there are several different ways that you can explore uh, how the how Blackboard will set up the course for you. Uh, the next the next thing you see in the uh, teaching style page is the is where you set the course entry point. Right. Uh, by default, announcements is set. We have not created a. Um, we have not created a new page yet, so th that page would not appear as one of our choices. And also, um, if your page has not been made available to students, it will not appear as an entry point. Uh, so, in case you do make your page and have not, cr and uh, you haven't set it as available, you may come back to here and say, "Where's my page? I just created it. Need to make it available first. Um, in addition, you can um, you can set a course theme here. There are quite a variety of uh, themes. Some of them more color colorful than others. And you can also, below that, you can select menu styles. Um, I would highly select, uh, suggest that you do not change the default style to uh, buttons over here. Just leave it at text. You'll be happy. Uh, the buttons are not pretty. Um, uh, the, then the, there's a, a Another area that's a small uh, change in the way uh, content view uh, content areas are displayed. Um, and then finally, we get to uh, adding a banner. Um, you can create a banner with any software that uh, does that. Uh, I mean, Photoshop or similar smaller Photoshop-like packages, or even uh, PowerPoint. If you're good with PowerPoint, you can probably very simply create a, a banner for your course. After uh, the Blackboard suggests that you make it 480 by 80 pixels. However, much wider banners uh, seem to work well. Um, I, I, I saw about 800 by 80 seem to be a good width. Um, and you should use PNG or JPEG files. Um, 
course. So uh, if, once you create a, uh, a banner for your course, you just browse for the file. Then after you've found it, um, the file name would be loaded, uh, would be shown right here. Then you just uh, make sure to hit submit. And when you do hit submit, then all the changes that you have made under customization will be applied to the course. So in, in this case, I had uh, created this banner for my course. And um, this is what the default announcements page would now look like with the, uh, with the default theme and with my banner installed. But as I said, we want to, re we want to replace the announcements page. So we're going to go to the, uh, to the plus button the uh, add, add content button, and we will add a new module page. In this case, we'll call it home page and make sure to set it available to users. Then it brings up uh, a page like this. Uh, the first thing, um, well, it, it brings us back, after that we're brought back to our main page, but we want to go down and click on home, our new page, home page, and then we will see a blank looking page like this, and we want to go to add course module. Once we go to add course module, you will probably want to check, click my blackboard, and my Blackboard will contain uh, the most likely, the modules that you will, would most likely want to add into, uh, into your home page. Um, this is, uh, there, there's about seven that are particularly useful. Um, the, the ones that are here, alerts, course media, my announcements, my tasks, needs attention. There's also a to do and what's new. And yeah, well, so uh, after after you've so after you've clicked add on all the modules you want to add, uh, at the bottom of the screen, it's not on the slide. <laughs> uh, there's a uh, an OK button. You would click click the OK button, and um, ah, you would. Click the OK button, and um, then the module page would be saved. Um, the 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 next thing you want to do is we want to go back to um, teaching the teaching style section and set our new home page as the course entry point. So once again, you go into the Blackboard panel, go down into course management, and then into customization choose teaching style, scroll down to the second area, and then choose home page. Then once again, scroll down to the bottom of the page, hit submit. And then this is what your, your student view would look like. A little more interesting than your regular announcements page. Um, Now, uh, a couple of things to consider. Uh, the banner will only will be displayed on the entry point. Uh, it will if you change to your if you change the entry point, the banner will be displayed on whatever page you set as the new entry point. Um, and there are a few modules in there that are a little bit confusing. I'm um, I don't want to read everything here, but I will leave this in the um, leave this slide up so if you are looking at this later, you can pause it and read these. Um, but <clears throat> there's one module called Needs, needs Attention, uh, and that's basically sort of like to-dos for uh, the faculty in the course. Uh, there's the to-do module, which is basically for the students. 
And then there's the What's New module that customizes itself for students or faculty based on who's, who's looking at the page. So um, if I I'm going to do a short I will do a short demo um, highlighting uh, reordering and a little customization on the module page. Um, so oops. Okay. Uh, can everyone see the page? Anyone? Can anyone give me a check if you can see the page? All right. Okay. Um, the, uh, the the module page looks like this to the to the professor. If you click the student view, you'll see what it you'll see how it pretty much looks the same to the student. Um, the uh, Professor has the each of these modules can very easily be drag and dropped around, reset the order to uh, whatever order you think makes the most sense to your to your course. Um, there you can also reorder the pages in a more in a more manual way, I guess a more keyboard friendly way. But I think most people would drag and drop the modules. Um, in addition, you can, from this page as well, you can also change the, the, the color, the global theme of the course. In this case, I think something dark looks good. And the green bar at the top is just a notification of the change. And there we have a customized home page that is uh, quite different than the default page we were looking at a few minutes ago. Um, now, uh, does anyone have any questions? Okay. Well, uh, to uh, summarize, uh, the announcements page is the default entry point when a new course is created. Um, you can create a new module page in Blackboard. You can add the modules you would like to add to it, and then you can go to go to uh, customization teaching style and make that new page the entry point for your course. And that is the that is how we can work with a module page. All right. Thank you. Uh, Brett, back to you. Thank you, Michael. And uh, next week we're going to be oh Oh, I think we have a question from Bill. Yeah, um, yep. I don't think it's so much a question as, as a comment. And now that I've seen this, we've got a whole bunch of modules out there that I think could be made available. The New York Times News, um, an HTML page for module that would let people add the, uh, add the Twitter and all. Um, <clears throat> is there any reason that we wouldn't add those? Should we start thinking about adding those so that people could use them on their, their home pages? Um, they, other modules are available. Um, I was, I, I didn't, um, I mean, I know Twitter can be, if you, if you add Twitter into the announcements, well, the announcements module only shows the headline. Um, so it would not, it doesn't, it wouldn't actually show the expanded Twitter page. Um, but the regular HTML module, um, I, I guess that would 
it, it is available. Um, and I, I guess I can move it into the my my Blackboard area so it's there and available. But uh, I, I think the Twitter module should work. Okay, well, I guess I should just add to the recording then that uh, keep checking for new modules because we may uh, release some and, and add them so that you can take advantage of this um, nice design for a, for a, uh, a home page when the students come in to show them things that are happening. Okay. Yes, uh, sounds sounds reasonable. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, Brett. Uh, I just want to quickly go over uh, for next week's topics. We have creating a grade grade center columns, uh, which I'll be doing, and then we have Yammer a Yammer demonstration by Bill. And uh, thank you all for attending, and uh, have a good week. <laughs>